Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to take a look at the binary search algorithm. Hopefully, you've already seen the previous video, the linear search algorithm, so that you can compare it to this one. Um, the linear search allowed you to look for an element. In our case, we're going to be working with numbers. Um, it, led you, it, it allowed you to look for a number that's in a list of numbers. Um, and it basically went from left to right, searching each one until it found the target. Uh, in a binary one, we don't go from left to right. It's not linear. Binary will give you a, a hint. The word by means two, right? Um, so what it's actually going to do is it's going to take an entire set and it's going to break it in half, right? And then we're going to search through the correct half. Now, in order for this to work, that half needs to be organized. So numbers need to go from a low number, so we'll say from zero up to positive infinity, right? Or if we were working with letters, we would go from A all the way to Z. And things would have to already be sorted in order to do the search. Okay? Very important about binary. If the list is not sorted, you cannot do this binary search because as you'll see, binary relies or expects things to be already organized or sorted in order from smallest to largest or largest to smallest, whichever is uh, whichever one the algorithm is using. In our case, we're going to go from smallest to largest. So um, I'm going to go ahead and organize these values in order from smallest to largest. And then we're going to search for our target of the seven, just like you saw in the previous clip. Okay, so I just paused and I came back. All the numbers are sorted already. Smallest one is here, largest one is here. I'm going to show you how this binary search algorithm works. Okay, um, so we're going to split this list in the middle. In our case, there's five elements one, two, three, four, five. If I break off from the end so you can see these match up, these match up, this is the middle element, right? So in binary, I find the middle. So in this case, it's this one, and I flip it over, and it's a 13. Did I find my target of 7? No, I did not. Okay, so now I need to decide, should I look to the left, or should I look and search through the right? You know that these numbers are in order. I told you that. So where would 7 be relative to the 13? Would it be to the left, or would it be to the right? Hopefully you answered to the left, because a 7 would be less than the 13, which means all of these are pretty much useless to us. We don't need to look through these, right? They're gone. I'm just going to kind of shove them off to the side here. Those are gone. Now I'm going to focus here. I need to find the middle. Okay, so if I look at these, there, the middle is a gap. There is no middle card, no middle number, right? So what we're going to do here is when there's no middle, you're simply going to say, okay, I'm pointing to this gap, and I'm always going to go to the left. So whenever there's a middle, I'm sorry, whenever there's no middle element, you simply are going to find whatever the middle is, that gap, and go to the left. All right, so now the leftmost one, I flip it over. Is this equal to my target of 7? No, it's not. Okay, that means now am I going to go to the left of that or to the right? Well, there's nothing to the left, and that would have been a smaller number anyway. So I must have to go to the right. So I'm going to go this way to the right and flip it over. And did I find my target? Yes, I did. So that's my 7. Okay, so let's think about expense and how expensive that search was. Okay, that took, I'm just going to run through it real quick again so that you don't lose track. Our first attempt was here. So we flipped this over. That was try number one. Try number one causes to eliminate all this, so we got rid of all this, so that took one try. So expense, think that cost us one dollar. Now we came here, we looked for the middle, there was no middle, we flipped here. Flipping that cost us another dollar, so that's two, right? Two tries there. And that forced us to look over here, which allowed us to see it. So that cost us three 
tries, right? The expense was three on that one. Um, not too bad, especially when you compare it, if you saw the first video, to the linear search. That one cost us five, right? Because it was all the way at the end. Um, of course, if the numbers had been in order, um, linear search would have found this, right? Let's flip this over. Let's compare. So we know binary cost is three, but linear search, if we had done that one, so binary cost is three. I'll just put this here. But if we do a comparison with the linear search here, we go from the left, that's one dollar. Let me do linear. We're looking for the seven. One dollar, two dollars. Linear would have been cheaper and it would have allowed us to find this faster. Um, now, keep this in mind, again, if we were searching for the last one, maybe that search would have been much more expensive, right? So it's going to depend on where uh, the items are and how many you're dealing with. If you're working with large data sets, like, I mean, humongous, millions, billions, or even thousands sometimes, um, binary tends to kick linear's butt. Uh, but in some cases, linear might be more suitable and useful to whatever it is you are doing or working. Uh, and again, this is just to give you a glimpse into what computers do when they're searching for things. They use different techniques depending on the situation. So if you're online looking for something, if um, there's an algorithm that is being used to find some disease or make a calculation on some kind of um, a vehicle or transportation system, different searches might uh, be needed and, and there's different algorithms. So you've just been exposed to two uh, search algorithms, and at this point, hopefully two sort algorithms to give you an idea of what computers do when they're searching for uh, or sorting through data for targets or for information that they need to organize.